Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a demo review on Makeup Geek eyeshadow. So Makeup Geek just recently did a rebrand of all their eyeshadows and I bought a couple just so I can test it out for you guys and because I was interested in what these eyeshadows were about. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so these are the two palettes that I have. This is the Shades of Fantasy palette. So of course you get pans and then you get a palette with it. This is just a Makeup Geek pan, and I heard something about her just trying to get rid of the stock of these palettes, so that's why there's a bit of space in it. I don't mind. I think it looks fine. I like the mirror in this palette, too. It's a good mirror. And then the next one that I picked up was this mini set. This is called the NV Mini Palette. So those shades look like this. So, of course, you get the pans and then the palette, and you just pop them in. I just did it the way that it was on the website. So yeah, I'm gonna probably use both of these palettes in my eye look today just so that we can um, test out a lot of these shadows. I have been playing with the shadows by the way because I wanted to give you guys a in-depth thought process when it came to these shadows, especially because you're purchasing them online. First shade I'm going in with is Honey Badger from the Envy Mini Palette. So I am blending the shadow in the crease of my eye. Little tiny circular motions. I add a bit to the outer edge as well. Alright, as you can see it's a it's pretty subtle, but it's like a a bit of warmth to it, so it gives a nice definition to the eye, which I like. And the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this one here. I think it's called, yeah, All of You. I haven't played with this yet, so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go in with another brush and go in with this shade here from the MV palette. This is Transform. It's a pressed pigment. Yeah, all right. And then I'm putting Transform over uh, all of you. <laughs> Alright, so the same brush that I had Honey Badger on. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to blend the edges of these shades. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with all of you and transform just to create the shape that I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna go in with, let's see what this looks like, Wine and Dine, which is this shade right here. Okay, purple. Okay, I'm gonna cut the crease. All right, so I did this eye off camera, so I'm gonna do this eye now. So what I did was went ahead and used Illuminati. So I used Illuminati in the inner portion of my eye. Just picking this up on a flat brush and I'm gonna wet it. It doesn't need to be wet to be very pigmented. It's just that I don't want it to fall on my face because I do my complexion before I do my eyes. So there we go. Look at that.
Now on the other side of the brush, I am picking up the shade Mystical. And I'm just going back and forth with Mystical and Illuminati. So just flipping the brush so that they blend nicely together. And then we're gonna go back in with a bit of Transform and just kind of blend the edges of Mystical. And now I'm gonna go on with a smaller brush with Illuminati and kind of just perfect the crease. With a small tapered brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Enchanted Forest. And I'm gonna go in with the brush that I had Honey Badger on and just blend the edges. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Hotline Liquid Liner. So I did put on some lashes. I have on the Kiss Naked Drama in the shade Chiffon. Yeah, Chiffon. I love these lashes. I've bought multiple pairs. Well, this is what my eyes are looking like. It reminds me of the Joker. Purple, green, and then the little bit of like greenish gold. I did use a bit of the purple and smoked out my bottom lash line and some black liner in the waterline. And these are my eyes. All right, so I have my little ponytails. I washed my hair today and I have product in there. So I just did a little, two little braids and just to stretch my hair a bit. Um, and it's raining outside, so I don't feel like taking my hair out right now. Um, so this is what everything looks like at the moment. I am loving this eye look. So let me give you some details about these eyeshadows. So the Envy Mini Palette, this one right here, retailed for $14.99. And then this palette right here, the Nine Pan Shades of Fantasy eyeshadow palette, that looks like this. This one was $32.99. Nine. And these are pre-selected shades that um, they have on the site that you can purchase instead of like picking individual shades out, just to FYI. So my total came up to $48.96 with tax, plus I got like the little shipping insurance just in case anything broke. And I used a code for 10% off, so I saved like $5, which is basically free shipping which is amazing to me because I hate paying for shipping. Um, so the code that I used was editorial. I keep it right on the screen right here. This is Quentin Marcel's code. If you guys are interested in the eyeshadows, use the code editorial so you can save 10%. All right, so on Makeup Geek's website for individual eyeshadows, so like the foil eyeshadows are $7.99 and then the regular signature eyeshadows are $5.49, which I think is a pretty good price if you ask me. Pretty on par with the price of like an Anastasia eyeshadow, a MAC eyeshadow, you know? Um, let me see the size of the eyeshadows. So the matte eyeshadows are 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 ounces, which is pretty typical. It's talc free, cruelty free, and some shades are vegan. So the ones that are vegan, they'll let you know on the website. So here are my thoughts on the eyeshadows as I was playing with them and I have been wearing it um, during the week as well. I feel like they blend very easily. Like they blend nicely. Now, the thing is that with the pigmentation of the eyeshadows, they are pigmented but you have to build it up to get the pigmentation the way that you want it. And that's a good thing because it, makes, it means that it blends better. If it's like pigmented straight off, sometimes it's hard to blend your eyeshadow that way. Now, the only thing is that, of course, on deeper skin, so I'm feeling like this olive shade right here was a little dusty, not gonna lie. Um, it was a bit dusty on my skin, but when I went in with that purple, that purple stuck onto my skin, it was very vibrant. So it just depends on the shade and your skin tone, how it's gonna work. All the neutral shades that I've used like during the week, so I've been playing around with like that shade, that shade, that shade in the middle, and then these shades up here, I've been playing with that throughout the week and they blend very nicely. I think they are very nice eyeshadows. I am not mad at them at all. And I like that we're getting back to single eyeshadows because all these eyeshadow palettes have been launching lately and I feel like it's just repetition of everything that we've been seeing. So single shadows are good because you can just pick what shades you want and just pop them in a palette and you have like an easy travel palette to take with you, which is really nice. It's cute. It's a cute 
option and it's just going back to tradition of single eyeshadows um i like that they do have the pre-selected eyes um pre-selected palettes that you can choose from which will give you a pretty good discount on the eyeshadows but if you want to choose your shades as well that's up to you but i would recommend these eyeshadows I feel like they blend very nicely of course some shades work better on your skin tone than others especially if you have deeper skin keep that in mind hopefully somebody with deeper skin did swatch all the eyeshadows i'll leave swatches of these shades that i have um linked in the video of course i was like cut and you get a little swatch but i'm not mad at this rebrand of makeup geek so if you guys are interested in everything i will have it linked down in the description box down below if you have any questions leave it down in the comment section i'll try to get back to you that's gonna be it for today's video so if you like my video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here hello i'm jordine go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye